Hello everybody and welcome back to Benjamin Magnus Plays Crusader Kings 2 The Pious Pole. Now I'm not really sure what just happened, I was about 4 or 5 minutes into recording this episode and my game froze up on me. Not exactly a common occurrence, I've experienced very, very, very few errors or glitches with Crusader Kings 2, but uh, anyway, I lost the few first few minutes of that episode. Something interesting did happen. Someone, this guy, fa uh, I, I uh, let's see, we're gonna, what am I trying to say here? Title success, lost, we're gonna lose the title because this guy favors himself as King of Poland, as next in line. Now, that's a very, very bad thing because uh, I would basically lose if that happens. I'm an older man. I'm 56 years old. I could die at any instant, and if I died, that would be it, basically. That would be that would be a terrible, terrible thing. A terrible way to lose my, my titles is just got voted out. So I'm trying to hatch a plan to kill him. Uh, we have plenty of plot power, as you can see. It should hit any minute now. And I'm just going to wait that out. Hopefully he'll die, and there won't be too much to worry about. I did also start uh, to hold a festival. Just to try to get everybody to like me a little bit more. Maybe they'll uh, they'll vote along party lines, as it were, if they like me a little bit more. No, I, don't, I don't think it's that big of a deal. As, as long as I don't die right now, it, everything will be fine. And I, I, just, I feel like I'm jinxing myself by saying that. Because I say things like that and then I'll be assassinated or I'll die from an illness or something like that. I guess there's so many factions, everybody hates me. So everybody likes me a little bit more, that's good, that's exactly what I was interested in. Well, what I want to take a look at, see if there's anybody who's like, eh. No, nobody who really... ...likes me that much. Maybe find someone with a, 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 opinion, a good opinion of me and try to bribe him. Let's find this guy, let's um... Send him a gift. I got it up pretty high. Let's, uh, let's take a look at that now. Still no. Opinion of King... Okay. Base reluctance. Opinion of High Chief. Okay, he likes the High Chief. Okay, educate a child? Maybe that'll get it up high. Let's pick one of my kids and have... Um, Send him off like that. Does that, that improve it at all? Prestige, long reign, send gift, state diplomacy, not did it. Uh, I guess I'm just going to have to wait for that plot to hit. Guardianship contract between... Okay. Is it... Um, uh, let's find him again. Did that help at all that time? Opinion of me is at 93. Because he's an entrusted ward, but he's still not going to do it. Alright, uh, sorry about the little interruption there. My game froze for a, a, a two minutes or so on me. I'm not really sure why that's happening. Hopefully it doesn't continue happening, because I don't want it to keep interrupting my recording here. That would be bad. If it does, I might have to cut this one short a little bit. Anyway, I was trying to get this guy to, um... To, to join my plot, and I have four plot... He, it's four and four right now, so we're tied. I would need to get it a little bit higher. A little bit higher. I don't think sending him another gift will have any... I don't know if that'll even get it high enough. I don't know if it, if he likes me 100. I don't know if it'll that'll even be enough. No, that will not increase. I, I could grant him a landed title, but that would be... That would, I, I don't know if it's worth it. Because I already do have it over 100, so it should hit at any second now. Ugh. I don't want to donate money right now. kind of want to keep my coffers as full as can be. Oh, I love that balance. Plus 14. <sighs> okay, what I, was, what I was planning on doing was looking at into forming the Wendish Empire, which would mean one more kingdom, and I... Well, you know what? I do need to conquer a lot more land. I think to form the Empire, you need like 80% of the... of the uh, provinces. Uh, you need to control 80%, I control 68%. So let's look at the Kingdom of Bohemia, which I can create. Hmm. What would that do for us? Uh, 
cost you 200 gold, 200 piety. Actually, why don't I do that? Is there any downside to that? Let's create that title. Created the Kingdom of Bohemium. Successor nomination. Let's uh, nominate my chosen heir there. Okay. Now, I think the way it works is... I, I want to say, I'm you know, I'm not positive here, but I want to say the way it works is the the people who are de jure vassals of that kingdom get to vote, for, get to vote. So, you know, let's see, this is the High Chief of Polost and Chief of Lesser Poland heir to the Kingdom of Poland. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm not really sure. I, I thought maybe... It, it kind of looks like that, but I'm not really sure. I'm going to have to look into that. I want you dead, you bastard. And what might be a good idea is to raise the crown authority and change the succession laws just so I don't have to deal with this anymore. People won't like me, but I can deal with that. Uh, feudal vassal opinion minus 10. Let's, let's do that. Let's raise the crown authority. Uh, I think we're going to... What is it? A vote? Yeah, we're going to vote for it. I get 20 votes, so... <laughs> Somebody agreed to... Uh, that, oh, that's just raiders. No big deal. It's just... They're gonna... No, I, I don't even think that anything is gonna happen. I'm never gonna get there in time with my cavalry di uh, uh, attachment here, but... We'll see. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. Game seems to be running pretty smoothly. I'm really curious about those, uh, those freezes I've been having, because they're not game crashes... I don't think it just seems like temporary, temporarily like the game starts chugging really, really bad or something like that. No idea why. So let's take a look at my laws. Can't stop thinking about all the prisoners in my dungeon. They are at my complete mercy. Let's see, are we going to oil up the rack on... Ah, eh, why not? Let's oil up the rack. Gotta wait for this to go. Once I raise the crown authority, I can uh, change the the, the, oh, the succession laws. I don't know why. I'm having a hell of a time, uh, you know, like, articulating my thoughts this morning. I'm the king of Poland, the king of Lithuania, the king of Bohemia. Everyone know about my plot. Who cares? As long as he's dead, die! Why won't this plot hit? <laughs> I wish I could invite this guy. It's very close. Wait, is that... Did it... Oh, someone just joined. Oh yeah, it just went up. Oh, I need him dead. I really need him dead. Now Fave is Prince Yaroslaw. Maybe that... Maybe he realized that I was gunning for him and changed his mind. That would be interesting. Do I hold... I don't... Well, they... I don't know if I... Do I take a penalty for holding too many kingdoms? Okay, oh, the plot's about to hit. Dishonorable... Fate smiles, smiles upon me. Uh, it doesn't look like I have a, a penalty for holding three kingdoms. Which is good, because I don't want any... But I don't want any... Va <laughs> definitely don't want any vassal kings. Well, I can't have a vassal king, because I'm a king. I would have to be an emperor to do that. Which I would not say no to. I would not say no to being an emperor. What we should do is now look into uh, taking these areas over here. Um, let's take a look. Offer vassalization. Oh! He's just going to accept that. I succeeded in my plot. Success! He fell to the ground like a piece of rotten fruit when the balcony railing gave way. A tragic accident as far as anyone's concerned. Gravity can be a cruel mistress, indeed. Not that we exactly knew what gravity was back in these days. Look at that! I didn't even I didn't even think of that. I could offer va vassalization, he would say yes. Uh, power, not my de jure liege, foreign culture, base reluctance. Okay. He's not going to um He's not going to accept that. Let's take a look at uh, Pomerania. So we'll do um, go here. Uh, Wendish Empire, Kingdom of Pomerania. We actually can create that right now as well. <laughs> that is ridiculous. Oh, I've never, I've never had more than 
I've had two before, and it didn't last very long. So having three and four is really, um, it's awesome. I'll, I'll, I'll give you that. It is pretty awesome. We're going to do that. And now we're the king of Pomerania as well. So uh, nominate my chosen heir for that as well. Boom. Let's see if this person will accept vassalization. Because now I, I am the du jour liege. So get into my realm. Yes. Oh, oh, oh. oh, look at Poland. Oh, it's huge. Suck it, Hungary. Looks like Ruthenia has uh, recovered. Alright, now I think I was at 68% before, so let's take a look at the Wendish Empire. I control 76% of the counties, and I need 80. Whew, that is close. And basically, right now, to take any more of the counties, I'm going to have to go to war with one of the big S states. So that would mean I would have to go to war with Sweden the Holy Roman Empire, Ruthenia, or Hungary. And right now, it looks like Hungary is going to be the way to go because Hungary or Ruthenia, what I'm going to have to do is do a little bit of uh, searching through the ledger and figure out how many troops these guys can raise. Because I'm, I'm, I'm telling you right now, not fucking with the Holy Roman Empire and Sweden looks way too powerful. But Ruthenia and Hungary both have had civil wars which makes me think that they would be the um, the way to go in terms of picking a fight. Now, if I wanted to declare war... Okay, I've collected a tithe. Nice. Ties are always great. Uh, I have to go to the king. I can declare war on him. Holy War for Bohemia, which would just get me this one county. Uh, I can get these two for, uh, for that uh, duchy. I can get these three and get these ones. It looks like right now this would probably be the best thing for me to do because that would get me two provinces in in the Wendish Empire. Look at my... Oh my god, I did not expect to create two more kingdom titles this, this episode, but I did, and it, it makes me a little nervous, but it also makes me feel great because I've never done this... I, I, I in, in my own personal games, I've never done this well. So it's really interesting to be doing this well uh, uh, during live recordings. Well, I mean, it's live for me. It's obviously not live for you, but, you know, on-screen recordings. And we're starting to chug a little, which makes me a little bit nervous. Yeah, it's definitely chugging for some reason. I'm wondering what I should do. If I should cut the recording here and, and maybe, maybe uh, just cut my losses. I don't want to... I really, really, really don't want to lose this. So that's what I think I'm going to do. I think I'm going to cut the recording here because my computer is acting up a little bit. It may be because there's some stuff going on in the background, but it was stuff I've run in the background before, so I didn't think that would cause any problems. Anyway. Short episode. Very short episode, but it's not a big deal. It'll be okay. You don't mind, do you? So, uh, if you've enjoyed this episode, drop me a like, leave me a comment, and if you're interested in more Daily Benjamin Magnus Plays, Crusader Kings 2, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you next time.